Welcome to this video ladies and gents, we're going to be looking at section 15 now which I have titled as Max, Averages and Min Formula. So we're going to do three different types of formulas here that's going to go into our summary sheet um, or what I've called summary sheet so far. We're going to change this obviously eventually. Um, looking at the movie section here, it would be nice to have uh, the maximum score this film got from any given person and then the minimum that it got and the average between the the 95 people that watched it in this particular situation. So what we're going to do is, because we're going to have three more, we're going to go inside here, right click, and we're going to insert another row. And we're going to do that two more times. So it's one, two, and three. Okay, so we've got three more extra rows there. Um, while we're at it, it'd be nice if we have another one up here, and you'll, you'll see why we're going to do this uh, shortly. But since we're in the middle of inserting rows, it'd be nice to have a few more in these areas here. Now, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video, go back and watch. So you can see how I've increased uh, the gaps in between each one. So I'm going to add one more here. There we go. Um, one more here. And one, two, three, and one more here, yep. There we go, okay. Now we'll come back to these in a moment. Well, first things first, we're gonna look at this. So I'm going to um, select these three, and I'm gonna to go to home, and let's put a border around it. Done, there we go. And we're gonna type in max um, rating for this movie min rating let's actually put it in full sentence full word maxi mum and then mini mum rating for this movie and then average rating for this movie okay so for the maximum, we're going to press uh, the equal symbol here. We're going to type in max, and you'll see it just comes up with max right there. Um, in what? I'm just going to show you another way, actually. Here at the top, can you see the FX, which is a function uh, button? If you click on that, we're going to type in max here, search for it, and there it is. And what this does is it gives you a little wizard just so that you can see exactly how you want to do this. So. Um, we're going to click on this symbol here because it says B12 to B17. That's not correct. We don't want to get the maximum value from here. We want it from our original data source, which is here, Cineworld main data. I'm using the first version, not version 2. And I'm going to find the movie rating here. Um, okay, sorry. I just realized something. Yeah, one second, sorry. I'm just going to get the movie rating, which is that one there. Yep, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Actually, just realized I'm not in the middle, so I'm going to go from the bottom here right to the top. It's important that we select every single thing. There we go. Click on this. And press OK. Now it says ten pounds there, but that means we need to change the data type. So we're going to click on select them three, since we know all of them uh, will not be in currency. That's going to just be a simple number. We don't need to, uh, need to be in decimal places. Although um, the bottom one might be worth doing that, but I'm going to leave these two, the maximum, minimum, as a full whole number. There we go, and that's that. Sorry boys and girls, I just want to um, highlight something. I made a small little mistake and I'm kind of glad that I did because I want you to figure out, first of all, before I show you the actual solution, what the mistake is. So for example here, um, I got the maximum, the formula is correct, but where I collect, uh, <coughs> excuse me, what I selected or where I went and selected wasn't correct. So let me show you what I mean. So for example, if I change this now to Mudbound, it's still going to say 10. And I change it to shape of water, it says 10. Twin Peaks, 10. 
Wormwood, 10. So it looks like every single film I select is going to be 10. So have a little think. What did I do wrong? Look at the formula there. What did I do wrong? Okay, I hope you realised the issue is I came and selected in this main area, this section here, this column, which includes every film, which is what we don't want. We want to be specific to the film that we are selecting here so that this number changes according to the film that we have selected. And the way I should have done it is really exactly what I've done, but I should have scrolled to the right and used this column instead. So I should see there it is, movie rating. I should have selected this column instead. Because as we know from earlier, uh, an earlier video, we made this specific to the ones that get selected. So I'm going to go back over here. And I'm going to delete this um, and show you exactly what I should have done. There we go. So here, type in max, go to this button here, click go, and there it is. Press OK, and then this pops up. I'm going to go over here, go back to the same sheet, but this time, I'm not going to use this side. I'm going to use this side here. So find movie rating, <coughs> select the top, make sure you're at the top, and see it says 2 here, so I know that's the top of the, the table. Go right down to the bottom. We know that this finishes at 500, so I'm going to go until I see the number no, number 500. There we go, it says 502, 501, 500. And if I scroll to the left, you'll see that is where it stops. And I'm going to click on this and press OK. Now, um, it says 10 there. Let's try a different film. Hopefully, one that hasn't had that score. Now, it might be hard to see. OK. Let me do a little test. I'm going to go over here and let me just check um, if there's a film that hasn't had a 10 rating. So what's the quickest way? Let's see. Um, let's go to maybe... Let's go to Itonia, press OK. Right, that's had a 10, so it's going to show 10. Um, OK. There has to be one that hasn't had it. And there we go. Right, so we know beach rats here. I'm going to go scroll to the top. Yep, the maximum beach rats has got is 9. So if I go over here, and click on here and type, uh, look for beach rats. There it is. There you go. You can see that now that does change. Therefore, we know it works. So you're going to come and uh, screenshot this, showing this um, formula here. You're going to go back and paste it into here. Explain that this is a max uh, formula that you've created. It uses a link table to basically go and find um, the maximum rating a particular film that has been selected by the user has got and this gives an idea to the user how successful how popular it was um so we'll just double check something just realize there's a bit of a mistake here Or something that doesn't make sense. They're saying two people. So it says zero people have uh, paid to watch this, but we can see that there has been two who have for nine ninety nine. So what I'm going to do is while you go and sort the screenshot for the max and explain what you've done and why you're doing it, how it's going to be useful, I'm going to little have a figure, have a think, little think about this and figure out what this issue is. Now this is the thing, boys and girls. While you're working, if you spot anything that doesn't make sense, have a look at it. Think about it and make sure you fix it before you move on. Don't think, okay, it's not going to be noticed. No, it could be something that's going to give you those additional marks. It, it could also be the thing that drops your marks down. Okay, so this wasn't showing when I had other films on. It seemed like it was working fine. Uh, but now I need to double check. 
and I think I know why it is now. It's because I moved it down. And the formula obviously um, was originally up higher up. Um, so what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to have a little think. I'm going to pause the video here for a second and hopefully by the time I come back you'll see exactly what the issue was. Right, ladies and gents, I figured out why the issue, what the problem is. It is there's nothing wrong with the formula at all. It's uh, my silliness. I've just come over here. I've just realised I use a filter, didn't I? So if I put this back to normal and everything shows up, hopefully everything will back. To, there we go. Everything is back to normal again. The reason why I didn't show anything is because I use a filter, and when you use a filter, what it does is hides everything, doesn't it? Yeah. So if I click on here and click on this and click on beach rats again, um, it puts two up here but as a result everything over this side is obviously obviously hidden as well because all the columns between so the rows in between have been hidden and as a result this sheet can't see anything so whenever you use a filter just remember that you always uncheck it all put it back to the default setting so that this works and this shows so we don't have to do anything it just means um, that you have to be careful that when you do end up finishing this whole project and you save everything and you hand everything in, that your filters are unchecked so that everything here is showing properly. Okay. Anyway, hopefully you've done the screenshot and you've explained the maximum rating score here and why you've done it, how it's going to be useful. And of course, you you need to, obviously, for those of, the, those of you who are aiming for the, the distinction, sorry, can't get my words out today, uh, Make sure you use a comment as well to get those additional marks. Now, the minimum is no different. So if you go over here, it's done pretty much exactly the same. You type in min, you look for it by clicking on go. There it is. You click on that, you press OK. And it looks pretty much identical to the max, but the difference is uh, you, we typed in min. And what that will do is basically find the minimum score uh, amongst the uh, the, uh, the the film that was uh, chosen. So I'm going to go over this side again, and again, make sure that we select the uh, the movie rating here uh, on this side, and go all the way down to uh, the bottom until you see the end of the table. So in this case, it's 500. Obviously, depending on what you work on, it could be higher. But in this particular one, we know it stops at 500. Once you've done that, you go here, press OK, and hopefully you'll see that changes. So you can see this particular film, I Tonya. 47 people watched it. Out of 47, the highest it ever got is 10 out of 10. The lowest it was 6. Okay? So, and we can check this as well, actually, before we do a screenshot. So if we find Mud Boundary, that's the same thing. Let's see, Twin. There we go. So, Twin has got 9 at the lowest. So, this, this was, basically, to put simply, quite a popular film. But saying that, there was only 2 people who watched it. Uh, that well, two people who 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 responded to the survey, uh, um, who watched it. I go to Get Out, for example. There's 20 people. 10 people. Uh, sorry, 10, out of 20, there were there was at least one person who thought it was 10, and the lowest out of the 20 was seven. So no one in that 20 uh, people in the in the group of 20 people thought it was less than seven. So this was a popular film. Um, let's see, Ghost Story. Eight, same thing. Oh, that's two people. Um, let's do it. 15 people, there you go. So out of 50, out of 15 people, the highest they got was 10, and the lowest they got is 6, which means there wasn't anyone in that group of 15 who thought it was less than a 6. So that's why this is so useful. So you're going to now, now that we know this works, you're going to screenshot this, explain the minimum score value uh, here, uh, why that's useful, and how it's going to be uh, utilised by this company. So you're going to say the cinema manager can use this to actually figure out, okay, basically how popular film is. Now, once you've done that, obviously uh, you've got the screenshot, you've explained it, and of course you need to have the comments in there as well, less to the average. Now, no different, you click on here, you type in average here, click on go, there it is, press OK, and it is again the same as before. So click on this, you go into the main data sheet, you go across, and it's the same column because we're looking at uh, movie rating. So I'm going to go from this one here. So I'm going to go and find it. There is 500. And then I'm going to go all the way to the top because we're looking at movie ratings. There we go. Up to there. Press on this and press OK. And now this will give us an average as well. So let's pick a different film. Let's go for Babysitter. Two people. 
9 was the average between the 10 and the 8, which makes sense. Let's go for a one. Uh, let's got um, a few more people who watched it. So last last uh, Jedi, 95 people. The lowest score was a 1. So you can see it, there was at least one person who didn't like the film. Um, and at least one person who thought it was 10. So that was quite varied. But on average, 8.5. So, in general, you could still say this is actually quite an, a popular film. Okay, so you're going to screenshot this screen, uh, this uh, formula, explain this as an average that you created that shows the average rating for this film. Um, and that is obviously through a linked table as well. So, it's actually working from here uh, to the cinema, uh, Cine World main data sheet. Okay, once you've done that, comment. Screenshot, explain in your, sorry, in your document here. So there should be three screenshots with the three formulas explaining what each of them are for. And when you get the formula in, it's not enough just to have the formula. You have to show the, some example results here. So you can show, look, here's the difference. Okay, here's one film, here's another film, here's another film. And here's the reason. Now, do not be shy uh, as to how many screenshots you have. You can have as much as you want. There's no rules. In fact, the only rule I would say is don't be stingy put as much as you can to explain and really show off your work you put a hell of a lot of time and effort into this why wouldn't you want to show uh, the examiner what you've done okay so good luck on this i'll see you in the next one